What is shaking, everybody? I'm back. I'm feeling good. I got some old friends back in the cut. That's right, I brought them back. The fish have returned. And this video is gonna be a little bit of a throwback. It's gonna be a plain white envelope Saturday. I think it'll be Saturday by the time this one airs. But I got a whole bunch of mail. What has happened is since I am no longer obsessed with Probstein auctions, what I would do with that, you know, I would bid, 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 and uh, buy, 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 buy. That makes no sense at all. But anyhow, I would just keep going on those and then pay like every 10 days. So now that I'm not obsessed with those and doing those, I kind of went back to my roots and started buying some raw cards, which is really interesting to do. Uh, this is a 2020, and most of the raw stuff I'm buying is new, new stuff too. Stuff that I think that, uh, could possibly be gradable and stuff that I think, uh, is good, is or is going to be somewhat rare. Let's see if I can get a good focus here without moving this damn camera everywhere. There we go. Anyhow, first off, we got our Jordan Alvarez, you see the little rookie card logo right there. 2020 Gypsy Queen Fortune Teller card. Rookie card. That baby cost uh, $1.99. Free shipping. And I believe I got two cards from that dude. And I don't know. Why am I being so fancy? I can just rip the whole damn side off of these. It's been a while since I've done the plain white envelope thing. Maybe this would be a weekly deal. Do one, one show a week of... Uh, or one video a week, one show. One video a week of me just opening my plain white envelope stuff. The other reason, oh, here's the other one. We've got the 2020 Topps Gypsy Queen Bo Bichette rookie card. Same as the Jordan, a little RC there at the bottom. I like both these guys a lot, and the Bichette I paid basically the same thing buck 39 and 68 cent shipping so two three a little bit over four bucks into these two cards but they're in great shape i don't know i just feel like it's a good time you know there's uh nobody's getting anything graded really if they are it's sgc which by the way look at sgc prices rising like i said they were going to i'm telling you they're coming they're coming hard but stuff can't get graded, so you got a better chance of getting a, a raw card that's, in theory, I think you've got a better chance of getting a raw card that's a 10 than what, what you would have before. I don't know. Then again, it's just another theory. Next up, I got a, yeah, there's a couple in here. Let's see what we got. Obviously, we got a Yu Chang and Logan Allen on top. Logan Allen is another guy that I think people are sleeping on. He was a big part of the Indians trade of, uh, was it Kluber? The Kluber deal? Is that right? Um, and he pitched in the majors for a little bit last year and did well. I mean, maybe not well. But he didn't embarrass himself, let me put it that way. And that's a big deal. And now I'm hearing people are big on Yu Chang. I'm not real big on Yu Chang. I don't think he did anything special. I don't know. I mean, he was all right, but he didn't play long at all. The other card I got in this little two-card lot would be the... This is the one that I really wanted out of the deal, I'm sure. I mean, it looks good. Notice, corners are not damaged. No paper loss. These things are... Not cardboard, I'm telling you. All right, 2020. Tops Heritage Rookie Stars. Oakland A's. We got AJ Puck, Jesus Lazardo, and Seth Brown. I like Lazardo the best, but I like Puck a lot. I watch people open these cards and they just throw Puck around like he's a common, and I don't treat him that way. I sleeve his ass. Uh, what I pay for these? 
The other reason that you're going to see a lot of raw cards is because of the Probstein situation, I had to make a second eBay account. Okay, these were a buck a piece, so maybe that's a little uh maybe that's a little pricey, but here's why I did it. Because of uh, you know, sometimes there are things on Probstein that I just have to bid on. It hasn't happened yet, but I know it will in the future. So I started a second eBay account, and I have to get uh, some feedback. I got to get uh, my feedback numbers up a little bit so people know that I'm a legit buyer. So I've been buying a lot of inexpensive raw stuff, but I'm actually kind of enjoying it. I'm probably safer just to rip this stuff. All right. We got a taper here. Struggling. Cons cards. I've actually heard a lot of uh, good stuff about cons cards. I think he sells like a bunch of crazy lots and stuff. Like lots of football cards. It'll be like 20 cards for 100 bucks or something. But I think that uh, I think he does good stuff. I can't remember. I know I saw him in someone else's video. I didn't intentionally buy from him. He just must have had a good deal on something I liked. Which he did. There we go. I did a... Uh, actually, I titled one of my videos after this guy. Easton Stick. 2019 Panini Prism. Rookie card. Looks to be in pretty solid condition. Actually, it looks like there's two in here. Yeah, there's two in here, right? Yeah. Come on out, Easton. Come on out, bud. There you go. Two of these babies. I'm trying to look over here and see what the heck I paid for them. If it's on my other account, I won't be able to get you a price. But I can tell you, I'm paying you know, as little as possible. But you've been able to have this guy slide through lately. I'm not making any sense. And I didn't buy him on the account that I have up on my phone. So I don't know what I paid for him. But I know it wasn't too much. And here's the deal. I uh, haven't addressed it at all when I've talked about my boy Easton. But uh, Tyrod Taylor is the quarterback that the Chargers sign. And here's the deal, man. Tyrod Taylor played in Cleveland for a short time. And Tyrod's a gamer. There's no doubt about it. But Tyrod's going to get hurt, guys. Go ahead. Let the veteran have the job out of camp. No problem. No need to put any extra pressure on the kid. Give the job to Tyrod and just expect him to get hurt. Because it's it, it will happen. That's what happens to Tyrod Taylor. And that's when Easton Stick gets his shot. And all these little cards that I bought for two bucks a piece turn into pure gold. I hope. I'm trying to show my address. I don't want to mark it off everywhere on here. I get a lot of. I had an egging a couple weeks ago, so you know. The haters gonna hate. I'm actually not kidding about that. You know what's bad? I'm not gonna tell you exactly how old I am, but uh, I got egged. Like two weeks ago. And I'm talking a little three, four egg job. And I'm not sure if it was my friends or my 15-year-old daughter's friends. I have no idea who actually perpetrated the crime. Nor will I ever know. I would think my friends would have been more thorough. So I'm thinking it had to be uh, kids, but... Regardless, I've been egged, people. I've been egged. All right, I talked about him in a previous video also. Uh, first Bowman Chrome autograph, Enyal De Los Santos. I think he's going to be a really good pitcher. And I've been picking these up for like two bucks, dollar, two dollars, somewhere in that range. So I've pretty much continued to pick them up. Any, I've said it before, I'll say it again. Any first Bowman Chrome autograph is worth, if it's a new one, 
a recent one or a guy that's actually in the majors getting playing time, it's worth a couple bucks. Going back to, I wouldn't go further than anything from 2018, 2019, I feel solid paying a buck, buck and change for. I kind of enjoy the, other than the fact that it takes me forever to rip this shit open, I kind of enjoy the uh, plain white envelope. It's been a while. I feel like I bought nothing but crap from Probstein for ages. This is kind of liberating. I feel good. The only thing is I have so much. I've got a whole nother thing of a, uh, there we go, another Panini Prism Easton Stick Rookie Card. Now this one, I know I paid two and a quarter for. I don't want to say it when I open the other two. And since I got the other two as part of a lot, I, I have no idea what I paid for. $275 I paid for this one. $275 free shipping. So at this point, I've picked up probably, well, there's three right here. I don't know what I've picked up other than that. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Lost my train of thought. That being said, oh, I gotta I gotta drop some info in the next video. The Wizard of Sports, I believe, is the guy's website. But uh, I picked up a bunch of time. That's the other cool thing is, and I can go through and top load these and do it like I used to do. Graded cards get a little bit boring after a while, but they're so much easier to sell because. You know what you're selling. You know what I mean? There's no question. I didn't sell you something that's got a bad corner. There's no doubt what it is when you're selling graded cards. So for selling, I prefer the graded cards, but I'm kind of getting into the raw cards again. And I'm thinking very seriously, well, I'm going to send a submission off to SGC, actually, soon. And I think I got a buddy who's also going to be in on that, because he's been picking up... Uh, I won't say the player's name because I don't want to. I don't want to bust his game on it. And everyone knows. Everyone knows about Daniel Jones at this point. He's been picking him up quite a bit. Okay, we have. Oh my God, I'm so not even on the damn camera. Struggling tonight, folks, and I think I'm going to keep going too. So, could be a long haul for you, faithful viewers. See, I'm trying to look up the price on this, and I can't find it. <laughs> no idea. But we got a 2020 Tops Series 1 Turkey Red Jordan Alvarez rookie card. Notice what I've been buying. I have been buying a lot of East and Stick, but everything else is probably going to be uh, 2020 Tops. Just because, the, you know, the other thing is it's the only thing that's out. I don't know when cards are going to start getting made again. But I feel like the fact that there's going to be less supply is going to make what's already out there definitely wax. But also uh, raw cards, you know, people are going to get bored if, if, if there's a big holdup on Series 2 coming out and so on and so forth. So these are what we got for a while. So I, don't, I think it's safe to buy them. I think they're definitely not going to lose value. And the players can't get hurt. That's what's cool about it. The players cannot get injured. And I just opened a bunch of mail, and I'm well under the 15-minute mark. And I know I had some long, uncomfortable pauses in there, too. So that's pretty sweet. What we got here is a 2020 Jose Uriquity. Um, Why Jose, you may, you may say? Well, let me explain. He's definitely going to be in the rotation unless something has changed with the uh, long delay here, but he's going to be in the rotation to start the year. Pitch well at the end of last year, and wabam, you may have seen it earlier. I did flip the card. This is a uh, advanced stat card, numbered 45 out of 300. I think that people don't realize, I mean, these are numbered out of 300. Nobody's talking about them, but this is a, a rare card. I mean, I don't know if Jose is going to be a Hall of Famer, but... <laughs> It's a rare card, and I bought it for, I think I paid two bucks, delivered. So, don't sleep on these uh, advanced stat parallels. All right, that's all I got for you. Thanks for watching. I'll be back soon. Later.